Hey everybody, welcome back to Wild Dominion Outdoors. The last you saw, I got myself a one stick. Sold my four sticks. Bought this RDA Outdoors budget one stick and um, had done my first repel from not even a whole stick up and uh, was waiting on rope for Christmas and our good Lord did not disappoint. So I have in my pouch here 40 foot of Canyon CIV and uh, I've done a little practicing but the goal today is to go up a move or two and show that old guys can one stick I'm gonna be 50 in April and today is the 29th of December we also have uh, Austin with us he's never done any one sticking he's one heck of a multi sticker and he's not real hot on one sticking just yet, but he's going to give it a try today and hopefully in the process show how easy one sticking is. Uh, just about everything I've learned, I've learned on YouTube, particularly from Greg Staggs and Staggs in the Wild. Thank you, Greg. And from uh, brother at New Day Outdoors. I don't know his name, but um, it's been particularly useful to me also. So thanks to him too. But I'm going to go up this tree right here with my new one stick and um, see how it goes. This is really going to be uh, a maiden voyage of sorts for the RDA Outdoors budget one stick. So follow along. Oh, I killed him, baby. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Putting this rope in the handle so I can reach it. Seat the stick. Take out my, right now I'm using a uh, night eyes gear tie to uh, be my tether locker. And I keep enough of that so that I'll pick that up as high as I can get it. Close my delta link and use my gear tie to hold that up. I gotta get this tape off of this carabiner because it does not help. All right, I am on. My stick is set. Here we go. I'm gonna take up this slack best I can this is the part right here that I found is probably the most difficult right now is moving the tether up
but the night eyes gear tie does seem to work pretty well all right so here I am I think I'm gonna have to be a little lower to get my stick reach down here pull this up undo this nice and quiet or not I'm just hanging Put my stick up it's too high right now my ropes holding the stick Get my foot back in. And mossy oak falling all over. We're one sticking. Make no mistake. I'll be honest. I like it. I like it. I like it right good. Gravity's got me. Gravity got me. Yancy boy. Just learned a valuable lesson. Lesson being, where you put your tether, your quick link, matters, which I've always known. And, don't fight gravity. Because you won't win. You absolutely will not win. There we go. That's two moves that, in my opinion, is easier than what for me would be three sticks. I think I'm about where I'd be with three sticks. My hawk helium is with my eaters. With two moves. So one more move would probably get me higher than I would with four sticks. And I could do that even with this split tree, but I don't need to. That's enough to show that old guys can one stick. Austin brought a tape measure. He's going to throw that up. It's a 25 footer. We're just going to see if we can see how high two moves got us. I'm going to guess 14 to 15, probably. Fifteen right there at my knees. Let's 
So at my feet, 13, 13 and a half. Two moves, 15 feet. One more move would probably get me right to I don't know, 18 or 19, maybe 20 if I took big steps. Now the biggest thing that Yahtzee to remember before you come down, make sure you take that gear tie off or you're not gonna pull that rope down. I'm still waiting on my Dynaglide, so I'm still using this paracord, which is fine for this purpose. I'm gonna drop that down. it off to this delta link in such a way that it won't break loose and now I'm ready to rappel down I'll stop on on the way and get my stick. Make sure I did everything. I got my gear tie off. I got my pull rope. Guess what I didn't do? I didn't throw my rope down. Which I would have remembered when I ran out and couldn't go any further. But got to throw the rope down. Now the rope's down. Now we go, nice and slow. Come in here. Grab up my stick. And I would normally, probably if I was at hunting height, wrap this up and put it on my saddle. But since I'm not far, I can just lower it and Maybe just a short drop. There's that. And down I am. I'll get off bridge. And I'll get my rock off the rope put that away just wrap this rope up so it stays out of the dirt Grab my pull rope. They say, I'm back a little ways. Geronimo pulls right down. Now, normally, I'd have something on this to make this quick. But I just tied a simple knot here. So I'll get that out. that up with the figure eight wrap my hand I'd much rather do this for a minute than fight with sticks to be honest with you putting them together and making noise this isn't making any noise now the little bit of exertion that I did have there was a lack of experience Eric like everything you got to practice so with more practice this will get a lot easier a lot more second nature and a lot less exertional 
now I'm going to get the other end of my rope. Figure they figure eight that around my arm here. Stop right there. And I would normally put that in my pouch, but I'm not going to put that in my pouch because Austin's going to go up next. So I'm going to put that in his pouch. And uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Well, I'm going to try one sticking for the first time now. I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. But we're gonna give it a shot. See how it goes. Can't be too difficult. So then we take this here, I guess. Gear tie, keep that up there like that, and then we take this mad rock, which I don't know how to use. How's this go? Is this right? Yep, like that. Yep, and then this comes up through here. that yep and then this carabiner down through there is that right yeah practice practice letting some slack out so you can do that no you can do it that way but you can all yeah do it you can do that way too So when you're rappelling, you want your hand on that tag end as your brake hand. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And your left hand on that lever. Here he goes. From my experience, I will tell you to keep that quick link toward your left. How's this come out of here? Reckon that's gonna take get a little getting used to maybe. What I do is put that stick right under the rope. Make sure you keep track of where your aider is so you know you can get in it.
First move. I guess if you're a tree hugger, this is for you. <laughs> Sorry. This is like the dirty job of saddle hunting. Some mossy oak. You're gonna be able to reach your M steel. Pop it out of there. There you go. That's the part right there I think that muscle memory will, will make a lot easier. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't forget to set your stick. Yeah. Now I got a situation. There it is, folks. I don't know how Not long bad. that took. We can figure it out by putting a timer on the video, but that was that was really good. Not bad. That was really good. He, he's never one sticked before, ever. And he doesn't really know anything about it except what he's learned from my research. Is that right? Yeah. I haven't watched any videos besides the one you have on TV, but that wasn't terrible. What do you think of the stick? Stick solid. You like the standoffs, good, good distance from the tree, gives you good foot room? Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I'm only in a hoodie and t-shirt right now, but on those cold November hunts, it's, I think it would definitely be more difficult than using multiple sticks. On a cold November hunt, you think what? It's going to be more difficult because you have the more layers on or you're going to have to find a way to pack them all in and get dressed once you climb. Yeah, you can do that, but here's the thing too. You're, you're only limited by your determination to get where you want to go. You're not limited by a certain number of sticks that are a certain length. You yeah. know what I mean? If, if, you, if you want to take shorter, shorter moves, and do more moves, more shorter moves than less long moves, you can still get where you want to go. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it definitely has a purpose, like hunting down. Say if we were hunting in this bowl, I would probably take three more moves if yeah. the tree let me, just so I'm higher up, because you're on a hill right now, and sure. we're only five foot difference between yeah. eye level, and I just climbed 15 feet. Yeah, Austin's feet right now are probably only a foot and a half or two feet above my head. Right. 
because that tree starts down in a ditch. So I think it has its purpose, but I mean, that's the beauty of saddle hunting. Everybody has their own own way of doing it, yep. own, own way of climbing platform, ring of steps. I like I like coming down, not just because it's fun, even though it is. It's definitely quick, but uh, for me, it's a lot easier and a lot safer because descending with a lineman's belt, lineman's rope, um, in the dark, using aiders, just is not a it's not a very comfortable thing for me. I don't enjoy it, and uh, just about every time I do it. I touched down on the ground with uh, a sigh of gratitude to our Lord for getting me down safe. We should do that anyway, obviously, but it just goes to show that uh, it's not a comfortable thing for me to come down sticks in the dark with a lineman's rope. I'd, I'd far rather repel. Of course, you gotta make sure before you go up that what you're coming down on ain't gonna hurt you. That's easy. And you're coming down slow anyway, so it's not like you can't stop yourself. What are you putting something on there? Yeah, a little carabiner. All right, folks, so this is gonna be his first rappel. Saw his first climb. If you got any wisdom for us, um, please help us. Put it in the comments section. Let us know what we could do better how we can improve. Maybe you can help me sell this on Austin. Not that I care either way. He's gonna saddle hunt no matter what, so. Whether he multi-sticks or one sticks. Keep your hand on that rope. That's your brake hand, Yachts. So if you, if you start losing control, yeah. hold on to that brake hand Squeeze that rope and bring it into your body. Not bad. How'd I do? I thought you did amazing. How do you think you did? Well, I lost it there at the end. Not really. That wasn't terrible. Come back away from the tree? Well, I gotta take this off here. All right, you take this off first. Come back more away from the tree. This is another part that you're doing right now that I would much rather do than clean up my sticks. Try to get them all together without making noise, get them into my pack. I don't know why, that just seems annoying to me. 
And like I said, we do have a 40-foot dining glide kit coming from Eastern Wood Outdoors that's supposed to arrive today. It didn't arrive yet. We Patrick, hold on, Patrick. <laughs> we got a Patrick coming through the woods. <laughs> He's making reference to a time that I almost slid to my death trying to uh, get to a deer that fell down a cliff. We all did, but I'm the old guy, so it was most funny for me. I love it. How do you like it, Austin? It's not bad. It just takes a lot of practice. Where's your saddle? I'm not going up. My knee's acting up Is it? How's this? How does this work? Like that? I'll, I'll go the other way. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. What you just did is fine. Come around the back of your hand. Around the, no, around the back of your hand. There you go. No, 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 no. Now go. <laughs> it's not, it don't matter. You can do it however you got to do it. I mean, why can't you just go like that? Well, you can. It's just not going to be in a figure eight. You just wrap it up. I'll do it. Any more thoughts on one sticking, Austin? No, I mean it has its purpose, but if you don't, if you ain't into it, you ain't pressured to do it. Yeah, there's I mean, no. We all got our own ways. There's to no must. Climb a tree, so whatever you gotta do, try it out. If you like it, do it. If you don't, stick to multi sticking. So, that's all my thoughts. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Get us over the hump to a thousand. Got less than a day to get, get it before the new year, so help us do that. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed in the past and watches our videos regularly. Make sure you always shoot straight and follow Jesus.